Bayet was talking earlier about the desperation to the need for uh, a reinvigoration of European banks by splitting off the universal banking, uh, investment bank assets by a lot more consolidation. I would imagine this is a, is a prime example of what needs to happen in Italy especially. Well, I think, you know, in Italy the situation is, can, is a little bit different from, for example, the situation in Spain or Greece, because Italy has been in a recession basically since 95. So we, the problem with the non-performing loans is really an ongoing problem. I think the economy in Italy is actually doing quite well. But if you, you know, if you are in a recession for 20 years, this problem has, uh, obviously are there, and I think there is no easy solution. See, look, here, here, this is well. amazing, isn't it? I'm just, just tapping in number of Italian banks. I don't know if it's my search will just tell me how many there are. But you've had a recession which has lasted now 21 years, and you still have way too many banks. That is a sad, I mean, I know you defended Renzi just now, but that is a really sad indictment of broader reform, with previous governments as well. 21 years we've been in recession, give or take, yeah. and we haven't reformed the banks. Well, Gone. Well, I, th I think in Italy the situation is that there are very, very strong, uh, or let's say they were strong, let's say local banks, mm -hmm. which have been involved also in politics and everything. It's very difficult to change. The situation in the U.S. is, is completely opposite. We've seen a massive consolidation. You see actually this in the results of the banks. Italy and some other countries are still kind of these local regional banks that are actually creating, probably they are too small. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. But we also had the situation with the Populari banks and he has tried to, Renzi has tried to make reforms to allow them to uh, combine and to, uh, to see some m &A. but I was mentioning this point earlier about the, the ongoing fragmentation in the system, seven largest banks representing 50% of market share, I mean, that's what it comes down to, it, obviously that's a real different picture now to what we've seen in Spain and actually that's a result of the reforms that we saw there in, and haven't in, uh, in Italy. Well, this fragmentation of the market is true across Europe uh, and the politicians are on the boards. It's regional, it's communities, yeah. and in Germany it's the same, but the Germans can afford that inefficient system, that's the difference. And things only change if the whole system breaks down, and that was the case in Spain, for example. The system simply broke down, so they had to consolidate the regional banks, but they are still not there, and in some countries simply it's, uh, it's, still, it's still going to happen, and I think it will happen this year. But on laying on top of the problem that we have, and you're saying, look, we still need to raise capital, we still need to clean out the banking system, is the bail-in rules that have been introduced this year. So you've got a situation now where banks get to choose what's at risk if there is ultimately a problem. We go back to the Deutsche Bank equation as far as the cocoa bonds are concerned, and then your banks decide when, when they decide to convert from debt to equity. And add on top of that regulation that stripped liquidity out of the market for, for a lot of these banks that can't hold inventory now. I mean, it's a, a perfect storm, isn't it? I think liquidity is not really, I don't think it really is the big issue. I think, especially for the Italian banks, the one issue is actually the fact that we've seen a lot of retail investors, the depositors buying actually the, the, the debt of the, of the banks. Mm -hmm. And then actually this creates a lot of political tension in the system. I don't think the, the problem is, is, is liquidity. And the situation in Italy as well is that we haven't seen a boom and bust. Again, this is a very, really long crisis that has been going on for, for actually 20 yeah. years.